All right. So you all know, okay, um, I'm sure the story of um, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. Well, they're like, you know, in my, you know, what I tell you in the stories and everything is, even Lucifer, you know, created, and the, but that was before the Adam and Eve on Earth. Okay, so the second Eve, when she was pregnant with um, by Adam. Okay, you've heard of Cain and Abel, and how Cain killed Abel, and then Cain was supposed to like crawl around in his belly and eat dirt. You know, after that was cast out. Well, the truth about this, what happened is that. Um, the second Eve, okay, when she was pregnant with Cain and Abel, she was pregnant by Adam and Pendar, okay, one reptilian child and one human child. And throughout different lifetimes, Eve, the original, whatever, sometimes she favored the reptilians and protected them at the expense of the human, and sometimes she protected the human at the expense of the reptilian, and had a lot of controversy, kind of a lot of contradiction because she, when she was pregnant, she was pregnant with, she knew that she was pregnant with the reptilian, with the dragon, with Pandar's baby, and she knew a human baby, the twins, Cain and Abel, but she didn't know what would happen. And, um, because she loved Pandar, you know, but, um, Which inhabited Adam also, and then the Aryan Brotherhood sank Aryan, you know, that's where that came in. Um, but I'm not exactly sure how, because I know she couldn't have had sex with Pandar in the reptilian form because their penis is way too large to fit. Their biology is not, they're, they're not, they rip us all, rip, 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 rip her open. Um, but somehow, um, somehow the genetics came out in her womb maybe it was after Pandar had already inhabited Adam and they were twins but the point is, is that one was reptilian and one was human Cain was reptilian and Abel was human and so Eve one morning went in and her two little sons no more than three years old she, her early bright morning sunlight and she comes in to the baby's room and she sees the most horrible things she could imagine. She sees her three-year-old little baby son, Cain, blood all over him. And her little baby son, Adam, the human one, in pieces. And Seth was eating, he was eating, I mean, Cain, he was eating Abel. He ate his brother. He was, he murdered and was eating his brother and eating the blood and the flesh. And, Eve was so horrified, she could not believe it. She, she was, oh my God! And she hated. From then on, she hated her baby son, Cain. She hated him. She despised him. She hated him. She hated him. How dare he do that to her baby, human son, Abel? How dare he? she didn't know what was going to happen like that? And she hated that baby. She hated that baby. She hated that baby. But that baby was just a baby, and it was his genetics. He was part reptilian, and he didn't know. It was just his biology was created somehow to where he needed he blood and flesh. It was in his DNA because, you know, she was pregnant with Cain and Abel by the reptilian and the human. But she, and, but she hated that baby. She took him so far, far, far out into the desert, far, far, far far out in the desert to leave him for dead, not even three years old, maybe three years old, no more than three years old, left him out there for dead by himself. She hated him. She hated him. She hated him. She hated the reptilian. She hated Pendar. She hated the whole, all of it, all of it, and that's when she began to favor human again. So she left Cain out there to crawl on his belly and eat the dirt, basically. Um, left him out there thinking that he would die, but he didn't die. He got stronger and stronger and stronger. And that was like, you know, Eve's second chance to 
because you know like the Sangarian and all that you know because see life after life after life one thing that happened is that the human uh, part of us you know we don't remember what happened in our past lives and stuff and even now we still don't but now it's just time to remember and once we do remember all this together then it's going to make sense of who we are now but we've all been through a series of tests and different things you know like with the goddesses there's like Aphrodite and she's like a you know basically a succubus she's her in her temple and all her priestesses the men would come and bring gifts and wait on the temple stairs just waiting waiting for the opportunity for the Aphrodite and her priestesses to come well actually they were not priestesses excuse me they were holy whores they were called holy whores and they would come out and then they would um you know, have sex with some of the men on the steps, and then the men then would feel like, oh, the power, like they were infused by the holy, by the, the, they were infused because the way it's supposed to be is the woman is supposed, the goddess energy and stuff was supposed to infuse the men. But the men thought that they were getting infused with the, you know, the holy whore, but really what Aphrodite was doing and her girls, they were sucky bitches and they were sucking the souls out. And you got Venus. And she's of love, and then you've got Pan, and you've got um, Zeus. And, you know, I mean, these are like back mythological characters, okay? But let me tell you what, throughout our time, we've all been all kinds of things that. Um, where was I going with this? <sighs> you know, and then when, you know, she left Cain to crawl on his belly and de eat the dirt. The crawling on his belly part was because he was a baby. He was a toddler crawling on his hands and knees. <sighs> That's all I remember really about that life. I, mean, but, um, I, I, I will remember more when I'm healed, if I can get healed. It's important to love, but it's just as important to be loved. Okay, in one of my other videos, you know, when I talk about the story of King Herod and everything, or not King Herod, but excuse me, well, it's the Jews, you know, and, well, yeah, it was about King Herod, and King Herod being Jewish, and then, you know, the story about that, I'm not going to go through the whole story right now, I just watched the video, it's called King Herod, or the stories of the Jews, or something like that, but um, I didn't validate, I didn't elaborate on that, you know, like, they were called Jews, Jews, Jesus or God's sacred people and Jesus you know sacred people and stuff and that the Jews were given the manuscripts you know the real ones from Jesus and the whole story the whole way this went down is in my video just look it up because I don't can't explain it all right here because it was just, I already explained it there but those of you that have heard it um, you know since then the Jewish people the ones that, you know, had the sacred text, it was, you know, God's chosen people, they called them and stuff. Well, they were given the um, documentation directly from Jesus because all the Jews were, were you know, following Jesus at that time because, well, just watch the video and hear the story of the other one. But um, since then, the sacred texts that were handed down to them have been um, manipulated and have been, um, they're it's not the same, it's parts of the same thing it, it, it's some of it you know the the Quran the Quran it has parts of you know what came down through Jesus to them but it's also been altered and edited and stuff and the actual real the actual real things about um, the history and stuff you know that has happened well Elizabeth knows the reptilians know because they have their memory intact for every life every single life to the next when they take one body and the body gets old and dies, the human body that they hijack, that they hold, when that body dies, they go into another body and then, um, but they can't jump bodies. Like I said, Pandar and Draken were the only ones that could jump bodies. But now, I guess when I was a Vita, Pandar told me that that's when I, he hated me so much, you know, I gave the queen his, secret, his magic books of everything and his secrets and, so Elizabeth may now be able to do this, but all the Sangarians that are Sangarians right now, but were all surgically put in by Pendar and had to have him removed to be removed 
they'd be removed. They can't just come in and out on their own. Although they can astral project anywhere they want and spy on you and stuff, and they do that a lot because their natural state here is not as, you know, uh, disembodied, but they can't jump from one body to the next. They can only leave that body astrally and stuff. Um, but, so, as far as, you know, this Jesus' chosen people or God's chosen people or whatever, you know who's, who, you know who our Creator's chosen people are? Are the ones that choose our Creator. And all of the truth is in our hearts and our memories and in our DNA. Maybe not everybody, maybe only the ones that were there, maybe some people on this earth, like the children of Eve, you know, the children that came after the fall may not have that all the memories, but the ones from Arabian bloodline, the aura does hold all the memories. Um, 